Yeah! Oh, oh! Yeah! 14 on the dot. Oh shoot, my rod broke and I have a fish. No freaking way. No freaking way. See you later. Hey you guys, welcome back to the video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be fishing one of my first ever tournaments. This is gonna be a spotted bay bass tournament out of anywhere in Southern California. So the one that I'm gonna be fishing is Marina del Rey and it's gonna be a four fish limit, 12 inches and over, three day tournament. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm gonna be fishing Friday morning and Sunday morning. I can't get out on Saturday, but we're gonna try those two days. Hopefully we make something happen during this time. What I'm aiming for is number one, don't be last catch some fish, and be in the top 10. That's what I'm hoping for, I'll be happy with that. If you guys are wondering all the gear, the line, rod, reel, lures, everything that I use in today's video, go ahead and stay tuned to the end, and I'll explain all that, and also the tournament winnings, and how much they won. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Schneider, and I make these fishing videos, so if you guys enjoy the outdoors and fishing, go ahead and get down there to the subscribe button. We are literally so close to 1,000 subscribers, I would really, really appreciate it. There's gonna be a lot of people who are fishing on boats and kayaks and stuff. I'm gonna be fishing off the rails so hopefully i can still get somewhere in the leaderboard and not get blown out too far we'll see what we can do if you guys have watched any of my videos every single video on my channel i had braces on this is the first video i don't have braces on which is really really cool i've never seen myself in the screen without braces let's just stop talking and get you guys straight on the action out in marina del rey catch some big spotted bay bass for this tournament All right, 601, we can start fishing now. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Hopefully get it some big ones. See what we can do over here. I got a little, little minnow over here. I got a swim bait on that rod. Yes. We're hooked up. Oh yeah. First one of the morning, probably on the smaller side. There we go, the white GT minnow. Beautiful little small one. Yeah, 11 and a half. All right, let's go ahead and let him free. Only 11 and a half. See you later. There we go, got one. Oh yeah. Is it better? Huh? No, it's another small one. Might be 12. Right, GT minnow. Getting it done. 12 inch right over here. Let's go ahead and let him free. Right, bud. See you later. Got another one. This one's pretty small too, but let's see if we can make him count. Let's go in and get this bump board. This one is 12 and a quarter. Go on and release him. Beautiful fish right over here. Let's make sure he stays alive. See you later. These fish are freaking ripping it up. Trying to like re-put it in. It's getting torn up. Look at that. Just stripped my whole plastic. Told you it was all ripped up. <laughs> there we go. That feels like a good one. Oh yeah, that is a good one. Oh yeah, that might be 13. Yeah, that's a nice one. He's a little more thick than long, but beautiful fish regardless. It's half a GT minnow because the other fish ripped it up, so I just cut it. Freaking cut my finger. Ah. He only goes 12 and a half. Red bud, only 12 and a half, but he's really thick. Let's go ahead and catch another one. Catch you later when you're big. No way. Just got hit so hard. Dang, he hit that thing so freaking hard. All right, that's the Jika rig right there. The Yoda worm is actually still in the water. All right, exactly in 12. So we have two 12s, one 12 and a quarter, and one 12 and a half. It's gonna let this guy free. See you later. Got one. 
Oh, Here we go. Little tiny minnow. Yellowfin croaker. Let's go and let him free. See you later. Oh yeah. That's a big spotty. Yo, let's try to land this guy. We need this guy. Yeah. It was low tide and they weren't biting at all. So we awesome to finally get another one. Here we go. Little tiny ball head. He's a 13 incher right over here. That's going to give us an extra inch. Let's go ahead and make sure this guy stays alive. All right, bud. See you later. Okay. He spit up obviously my bait. But look what else he spit up. Perfect show of match the hatch right over there. Pretty much same size, pretty much same color. Got one. Oh shoot. What is that? Oh, it's a halibut. It's a little halibut. Oh wow. It's going and land him. Kind of wanted a spotty. <laughs> All right, small little baby halibut, 14 inches. So pretty small one. A lot of little minnows in his mouth, probably anchovies. Beautiful little thing. Red bud, see you later. Oh, got one. Little halibut. Dude, why are these halibut everywhere? I want to catch spotties today. It's a spotty tournament, not a halibut tournament. There we go. Little gulp minnow. Let's go ahead and release this dude. Little guy. See you later. Oh, yeah. It's a halibut. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right. This is the Demiki fluke. Two and a half inch. See you later. Please be a spotty. Yeah, it's a spotty. Yes. Hopefully he adds a little fluke. He might help us. Another 12 and a quarter. It's gonna help us by a quarter of an inch. All right, bud. See you later. Hopefully we catch another giant. Here we go, we're on. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, that's gonna help. That's gonna help. Oh my gosh, I'm going crazy right now. This is gonna help. This is at least 14 right here. All right, let's go ahead and release him. 14 on the dot, super fat. Let's go ahead and release him. All right, see you later, bud. That's one. Oh, little baby guy. Still a fish. Fish is a fish. Doesn't want to let go of my fluke. There you go. Right, little bud? See you later. First one. Let's go. Let's go ahead and see how much he is. 11 and a half. Let's go ahead and release this beauty. See you later. There we go. That's another one. Let's see if he could count. Red bud. See you later, 12 incher. I'm bit. That's another one. Feels a little bit better. Oh, it's just a small one fighting. Let's go ahead and get him back, see how much he is, and then we'll toss him back. But he's probably too short. Yeah, 11 and a half. Here we go, little guy. Let's go ahead and toss him back. 
See you later, bud. Oh, it's a little halibut. Wow. It's a little halibut down there. That's so funny. Two days ago, we were catching a bunch of these. Okay, see you later, bud. Oh yeah, that's one. Oh. It's a pretty good one. I don't know if it'll help. Hopefully it does. There we go, pop that out. See you later. Please be a good one. Another really small one. Not gonna help us at all. Yeah, this guy's really small. He's, I'm not even gonna measure him. See you later, bud. That's one. Another small one. These guys are really small. Yeah, this guy's probably another like 10. Catch you later. That's another one. Oh wow, this guy's tiny. This guy's ultra small. A little tiny guy. See you later. These are all such small fish. We need to catch that one big one. There we go, little fluke, really small bass. See you later. Oh shoot, my rod broke. And I have a fish. Oh shoot. Shoot, I have a fish and my rod broke. Oh. And it's a big one. No freaking way. No freaking way. My rod just broke in half. And I just landed a giant spotty. Thank the Lord I landed that thing. Jit just cracked in half. Little gulp minnow. On literally my favorite ultralight setup. And it's just totally snapped over there. That's crazy that I was able to land him. I'm so happy I landed him. Very happy that you bit. All right, bud. See you later when you're a... Catch you later when you're a giant. Got a little guy. All I did was, was just push my rod into the broken, all cracked up area. So whenever a fish bites, it will take my top off, but at least I can work my lure when there's no fish. It's horrible, but it works. And I'm happy to say it does catch fish. This guy probably won't help. Yeah, he's 11. All right, bud, catch you when you're a giant. See you later. Oh, shoot. No way. Caught a tiny sculpin. What the heck? All right, let's let this little sculpin free. See you later, bud. Got one. Oh, yeah. He realized he's hooked now. Got one. Oh shoot, he's fighting. No! Freaking came off. No way, I'm on. On a halibut. No freaking way. Yes! That's so good. And this is my first ever fish on my custom little grub that we made. If you guys saw that previous video, we made these little cool grubs. And dude, first ever fish ever caught on it. And it's a sick, cool little halibut. See you later, dinner plate. There he goes. We're on. Another tiny little sculpin on the custom grub that's crazy second ever fish on the custom grub see you later bud no freaking way
Yes, first ever spotty on the little custom grub. So cool to get it on the little custom grub that I made. It's a 12 and a quarter incher. So beautiful freaking fish. Not gonna help us, but still a good fish. Right, bud? See you later. All right, so that was the fishing part you guys saw. We definitely killed it out there. We caught a whole bunch of different species. It was crazy we were able to catch a bunch of those halibut and those sculpin, which I was not expecting. And there was a croaker in there. That was really interesting. But we weren't able to get out like, the bigger size spotties. We did catch a couple. We got two 14s, which was that, was, that was insane. But we caught a bunch of 12s and under. But I definitely had a fun time. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what the winning scores were. I'll put them up on the screen right now. First place winner, congrats to Nick Aaron for hitting 62.25 inches. That's just crazy. And his biggest fish was 17 and a half inches. That's crazy. My biggest was 14, so I wasn't getting anywhere near that. So he definitely killed it there. If you guys can go down from one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh place that's me right over there seventh place 53.75 inches and i am in the top 10 so that's good enough for me i missed one day of the fishing and i did miss a lot of time going on the bus and it was about a two hour bus ride on the way there and then a two and a half hour bus ride on the way back i would wake up at four and i would only get there at six so it was like you kind of missed the best bite of the morning but we tried our best everyone else who won had a kayak and a boat so i feel pretty good with how much i got from the shore. All right, now for all the gear that we use in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the spinning setup first. This is my little ultralight rod. Actually broke while I was fighting a fish, which was crazy. The thing literally broke in half. Now for my bait caster setup, this was a loose laser medium power rod. This one also broke the tip in the insert popped out so it now it just starts shredding my line now for the reels this is the shimano sienna 1000 this is the shimano bass rise this one is 10 pound braid this one has 25 pound braid this one i put 8 to 10 pound fluorocarbon liter this one i pretty much always put 15 pound fluorocarbon liter shimano really makes these nice cheap affordable reels i'll leave all these things linked down below for the lures in today's video the real big killer was this berkeley gulp little minnow there was 18 in here I literally opened this pack in this video and now there's only four left. I went through about 15 of these things in today's video. And the second one that we were really killing it on was these game tight minnows. We were pairing these things up on a tiny little 1 8 ounce ball jig head and just bouncing it off the bottom. The other thing we're using were my little curly tail grubs. If you guys, if you guys seen me make these in the previous video, I would pair it up on a little ball jig head also. That's all the gear that we used. Hopefully you guys enjoyed or learned something out of this video. Get down there, subscribe, hit the like button for the algorithm so more people like you guys can find my videos. Click either one of these if you guys want to see two other really cool videos. Hit right here, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you guys.